Oh boy. First and foremost, let me start off this video by saying all credit due and given to the powers that be that walk with me. We are one. I say that because when I started putting my thought processes together for this video here, I look at the clock and it was 1212, master number 1212. By the time I finished gathering my thoughts and what I was going to say, I look at the clock again. It's 1234. One, two, three, four. Now, by the time I get myself set, find the perfect spot on the floor, put this back on from cleaning it, it's 111. I asked beyond that now, but synchronicities abound. Mm hmm? reoccurring numbers spiritual thing connection now going forward with this with the video I really don't like doing readings on celebrities I don't I don't but I'm gonna tell you this hmm Synchronicity being what it is for me, I happen to look at T.I. Uh, out of the blue for no reason. Huh? And I just got this bad feeling. So I went on his Instagram page. Directly to him said his name. Uh, this one, I'm not exactly sure if I said his government name, his whole government name, or not. However, I was drawn to inform him urgently that they were coming after him. But I didn't say specifically who. I just figured he would somehow know. I even invited with power, energy, and intention anyone on that page that know him directly, speak to him directly, call attention to that message so he could see it for himself. I got no reply and I really didn't expect to, but I had delivered my message. I turn around and him and Tiny going down the hallway on TV, going down the hallway, doing the walk of shame. Allegedly accused of <sighs> criminal level sexual behavior, allegedly. Ah, I don't like doing readings for them. They are surrounded by chaos and destruction on many levels. Mm? Mm? They don't listen long enough to hear, let alone follow instructions given to them out of the blue for no reason. And I guess they don't see it as a sign or a message. And that's fine. But ironically, most people in the past that have followed my pages are in that line of work. DJs, producers, aspiring rap stars. Mm -hmm. Let me say this to you. In order to help you fight that war, I would need to be there to read for you in person. They can see me. I can see them. I need to be there. In lieu of that, let me point you in a direction. How about you not sign your life away? on soul contracts, mojo deals. Ah, thank you, Roddy Rich, for that one. I never would have come up with that one on my own. Ah, Roddy Rich, mojo deals. Uh, how about you stop doing that first? Hmm?
you have got to understand that there's a lot going on in that industry. So fiagos, frequencies, tones embedded in the music that you listen to. Huh? Manipulation. Or oh, don't tell me you don't don't you can't tell me they don't do it because I can hear it. I can hear the tones and frequencies embedded in the background in the music. Huh? Don't tell me technology has not figured out a way, just like the old guys, Bach, Beethoven, Mozart, uh, Solieri. They all knew that if they put a certain group of notes together, they could make you feel however they wanted to. They wanted to make you feel a sense of dread. They put low notes. Boom, 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 boom. They give you the feeling of anxiety and fear, something bad coming. They knew they could make you feel however they wanted you to. And technology being what it is today, all they got to do is put it in the music. Subliminals. You knew what I was talking about. <sighs> There's a lot going on in that industry. More often than not, you'll find that when a legend die, a royal dies. Ooh, that's a pattern. That's a noticeable pattern that happened too frequently for it not to be noticed. Last one. Rest in peace, DMX. Hmm? But the same time he died, a royal dies on the other side. So are we talking about ops as in opposition or opposites? Are we talking about sponsors or are we talking about enemies? What are we talking about here? Hmm? Pay attention to what's going on. I'm going to let this go here. 